Hello to everyone again, we are halfway through ASU Awards week. I hope you all enjoyed the awards from yesterday and Ellie saying sorry so many times. I'm really, really sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. We have five awards to announce today, so let us make a start with the first award of the day. The first award to be presented today is the Athletic Union Full Colours Award. This is awarded to someone who has shown dedication and commitment above and beyond the call of duty for any position in the, involved in the organisation of the Athletic Union continually over a number of years. This can only be awarded if full colours have already been received for the same club. The people who have won their full colours today are in aerial fitness, Amelia Watley, Zoe Smith, Scarlett Davison and Beth Reese. And in badminton, Rahul Shaji. In Bangra, Shreya Riot and Madhvi Vadera. In cheerleading club, Krishna Lakani, Megan Deary, Chloe Palmer and Lois Edwards. In cricket club, Ben Fillimore. In dance club, Gemma Sharp. Lily Malone, Ella Hazelton, Lois Gaskell, Hannah Coulton and Tess Gorman. The Hockey Club have awarded the following full colours. James O'Neill, Amy Brennan, Dan Caldry, Dan Pitcher, Abby Lander and Georgie Chapman. From Jiu Jitsu, Preeti Oda. In Men's Football, Ross Kelman, Jake Graham, Harry Sanders and Tommy Morris. From Mountaineering, Rebecca Foxhall. From Netball, Katie White, Faye Patton, Emily Thompson and Gemma Hennigan. In Pool and Snooker, Callum Miley, Nat Moore, Dan Charlton. For Rugby Club, Henry Good, James Roberts, Ed Saunders, Robbie Clark and Daniel Duis Fuentes. From Snow Club, Hubert Zaksker. And from Squash, Joseph Bellella. In Swimming and Water Polo Club, four colours are awarded to Hannah Povel and Amber Gibbs. In Taekwondo, Erica Ng. And in Women's Football, Ellen Williams. Congratulations to everyone receiving four colours. You have shown immense dedication to your club during your time at Aston. And this award recognises your efforts over the years. Ellie will be presenting the next award today. Why, hello there, humans on the internet. Um, what is the next award I hear you ask? Well, I shall tell you. It is the <laughs> Union Gold Award. It is, actually it is. Um, this is awarded to someone who has shown commitment and dedication to the Students' Union continually over a number of years and can only be awarded if silver has already been received. This year, Union Gold is awarded to the following people. Amy Brennan, Dan Pitcher, Henry Good, Ifti Hussein, James O'Neill, Isama Haroon, Rabia Zakria, Anas Mazar, Jake Graham, Lois Edwards, Kim Chong, Margarita Latoseva, Kelvin Mingal, and Lois Gaskell. Yes! Well done, guys. I also have to go and listen to the standard birthday. Yeah. Well done, everyone. Uh, I'm now going to hand over to Danielle to read the next award. Bye bye! Hi everyone, um, thank you for that. So moving on to the next award for today, I have the pleasure of reading out the Society Federation Gold Awards. These are awarded to somebody who has shown dedication and commitment above and beyond the call of duty to any position involved in the organisation of the Aston Society's Federation continually over a number of years. Um, this award can only be awarded to somebody who has already got the silver award and basically it's if you've been really active, really involved and contributed to the organisation of one of our societies then you'll have won this award, so congratulations. So apologies in advance if I get some people's names wrong, I'm trying my best. Um, the people receiving these Society Federation Gold Awards are for Biology Society, Ryan Harmon, Chess Society, Malika Tagoon, Christian Union Society, Sarah Butterworth. Computer Science Society, Kelsey Chan. 
Drama Society, Cameron Banks. Electronic Society, we have Luke Wood, Jim Fowler and Harry Politska Wright. For Inactor Society, we have Saeed Ali. For Engineering Society, we have Rohan Sahota. For Islamic Society, we have Mansoor Ayub and Ruba Al Masabi. For Japanese Anime and Manga Society, we have Dharmani Asuwa. For Krishna Consciousness Society, we have Priyanka Modi. For Labour Society, we have Rebecca Boot. For LGBT Plus Society, Daniel Everett. Link Society, we have Juliet Richardson and Isabel Dixon. For Mandarin Society, we have Ling Ling Lao and Yi Ling Lu. For Marvel and DC Society, we have Samir Abu Baker. For Mature Student Society, we have Anna Maria de Conescu and Bobby Thangvi. For Medical School Society, we have Ishika Marotra. For TEDx Society, we have Tristan Ritke and Luke Eccles. Women in Business Society, we have Simran Baines and Dea Dalidi. For West Society, we have Gabriella Gardosi and Fadumu Adiz. And that's everyone, so congrats everybody. Um, winning a Gold Society Federation Award is an amazing achievement. Thank you so much for your contributions to our wonderful societies over your time at Aston. Uh, I'm so proud of you and well done. And I will now pass over to Pawan, who is ready and waiting with the next award. Thank you. Hello, thank you everyone. And congratulations to all the winners so far. Uh, the award I'll be presenting for today is the Society Achievement Award. This award is presented to an individual in recognition of outstanding dedication and performance within their society during the academic year. This award recognizes dedication and performance that has helped a society establish, grow, gain new, gain, gain new members or uh, put on new events or services for its members. The winners of this award for this academic year are Hugh Williams from TEDx. Hugh was nominated for his outstanding work raising funds for the society and learning how to manage a team for the first time. His can-do attitude and his ability to take uh, initiative beyond what is expected of him also contributed to his uh, selection for this award. Congratulations once again, Hugh. The next award in this category goes to Lily Shabados from Bright Futures. Lily has been an excellent contribution uh, has made an excellent contribution to Aston University and the Bright, Bright Futures Society with her excellent communication and networking skills. Uh, her initiation of the brand ambassador system and uh, contribution in organizing the first student-led careers fair are among the highlights for this year. The next winner in this category is uh, Ethel Ojo from the Medical Society. Her initiative in taking the lead in organizing most society events and keeping uh, finances on uh, uh, track uh, are, uh, are some among the many highlights for this year. Uh, her uh, tenacity and uh, her tenacity liaison with the Students Union along with her contribution to uh, successfully running the bi-monthly MedSoc journal are among the key uh, highlights of this year which uh, uh, have contributed to her winning this award. Congratulations once again, Ethel. Next winner in this category is uh, Nina Forbes from the LGBT Plus Society. Uh, Nina has been an exemplary committee member for this uh, society this year, uh, crucially stepping up to fill in, uh, fill in gaps and uh, take up additional responsibility. As the LGBT Plus BAME officer, she has focused heavily on the inclusion of BAME LGBT plus students and uh, uh, taking over some of the organization as uh, on the whole. Nina exemplifies a committee member who is committed to providing support and leadership for society members uh, in spite of the elements of a very difficult uh, double honors degree schedule to balance. Congratulations once again, Nina. The next winner in this category is Jenny Workman from the LGBT plus society. Jenny has done an incredible job as the welfare officer and has been great at raising awareness for some of the identities which have little visibility which goes on to strengthen her performance as welfare officer. 
Although she seemed initially intimidated and nervous about the role, she has overcome her original shyness and has surpassed herself in providing a shoulder to cry on for members and assisting them defining their in defining their identity. Well done, Jenny. Congratulations once again. The final winner in this category is Safa Atiya Ahmed from the Law Society. Safa is someone who, despite uh, how much she has on her plate, always does get, gets the job done. She has become the brand ambassador for uh, aspiring solicitors and has used uh, this uh, position to give members of the Aston Law Society a valuable entry point into accessing open days, talks, mentoring schemes, and advice to better inform all this to all the members of the world of law. Aston University has had uh, some of the highest uh, sign-ups to this uh, scheme with over 100 members joining Aspiring Solicitor. All, all of this due to her involvement and constantly pushing their events and reminding uh, students about the value uh, of their organization and events. This has been immensely beneficial for the members as it gave them a variety of events to attend and learn from. She was particularly informative and answered all the, all the questions members asked of her. She has also been uh, integral in uh, planning other events and leading initiatives such as the commercial awareness lecture which she had arranged herself. She was truly, an, she was truly a very pivotal part of all the activities of the Law Society this year. Congratulations once again Safa, incredibly well done. Uh, I will now pass this back to Anas for the final award of the day. The final award I'm presenting today is for Sporting Achievement. This award is for individuals and teams in recognition of their outstanding performance during the academic year. For individuals, this may be a performance that has helped their team and club achieve new heights. For teams, this might be an exceptional performance or result in a competition. The winners of the Sporting Achievement are cheerleading club for their future cheer competition. This year the Ravens have demonstrated an exceptional performance in all of their competitions. In February the Ravens attended future cheer nationals in Manchester for the fourth year running and performed a award-winning performance. They placed third in their competition and were 0.2 of winning the whole thing. This has been the most successful year for the club, bringing home the highest number of trophies than ever previously achieved. The success of the team is a true reflection of the hard work and dedication of every single girl on the team throughout the entire year. The next winner of the Sporting Achievement Award is for the men's football second team and Jay Carter from the men's football team. It has been a long-standing tradition for the last six years that the men's two will, until the dying weeks of the season, lie top of the table and then miss out on the league title and promotion at the final stages. This season was no easy feat with a smaller pool of players to choose from and a stronger league than ever before. Jay remained dedicated and inspired the team to improve, regularly meeting out of training and the Boys came back after the season break to win all but one of their games and subsequently won their season all the way back in February, finally breaking the curse. They went unbeaten in the league for their first six games, winning at BCU twice and confirming their promotion at the home of our neighbouring rivals after tending to go up for the last four years. They have finally achieved their goal and deserve recognition of immense dedication, passion and achieving something brilliant. The next winner of this award was Hubert Saxka from the Snow Club. This year he went to the Bud's Dry Slope Championship and came second in the slalom snowboarding. He placed top 8 overall in the men's team. In the Bucks Dome series in the Midlands he came second place in the Salalum and in the Bucks Dome series nationals he came sixth place. 
Furthermore, he also qualified for the main event, which was unfortunately cancelled, and raced alongside skiers, many could, due to the lack of a snowboard team. He was one of the biggest assets for the snow club. The Bangra club have also been recognised for their competition win in the Bangra showdown. Bangra complete, competed in a Bangra dance competition at Arena Birmingham in front of the sold out crowd of 4,000 people competing against nine different universities and came, coming first place against some tough competition which recognises why Aston University is recognised for their Bangra club. Christian Ali Kuman has also won this award for his achievements with the Taekwondo club. He has displayed good sportsmanship and performed well at a number of tournaments. He has won medals in both sparring and patterns with a few gold and silver medals. The next winner of sporting achievement is Sakina Painda from Taekwondo club. She has won a gold medal in sparring and silver medal in patterns. Despite being a new member to the club, her hard work and dedication paid off. Emily Thompson also won the sporting achievement for her involvement with the netball club for four years. Emily has shown nothing but skill, dedication and passion for the sport while she's been on the first team. The final winner of this award is for Georgia Barton, who is part of the women's football club. Georgia has been a key player for their success in their development league for the academic year. Across five games, Georgia scored 21 goals, including nine goals in a single match. She has now been voted captain for the women's football team next year. Congratulations to everyone who has received an award today. We have more awards to give out tomorrow, so join us then.